Welcome back to the Morning Wrap. Look who it is. The busiest guy in the entire studio and the entire station. Paul Diano. I think I've realized just how many newscasts we have today. <laughs> Yeah, we have, a we lot. have many, so we thank you for lot. watching them. And if doing... you watch all of them, then we love you. <laughs> and you're doing a great job, by the way, keeping us informed for the thank past you. couple Alex of days. Alex Piston as well. Yeah. Exactly. Everybody, of, Evelyn yeah, at night, Olga at night, too, Martina. Job. Yeah, we have a great team. So we want to talk about, you know, we like doing behind the scenes stuff here okay. on the morning wrap because okay. a lot of people at home, you know, they just see the presentation, but not what goes into right. that presentation. You see the cake, you don't see how the cake is made. Exactly. The ingredients. So we want to talk about first, where are we with the storm system? System, and then I want you to show me what you actually do to prepare. Okay, well, first off, where we are with the storm system, mess tonight, mess tomorrow morning. Uh, I, you know, the snow is the fun part of the story. That's going to be less of the fun part today and tonight mm -hmm. and tomorrow. I think we're going to see some pretty significant flooding issues. Mm -hmm. There's just a lot of rain falling out there right now. So uh, and this, it's, it, it could be a problem tonight. And tonight into tomorrow, but Sunday we should get a break. Sunday or no? we can all exhale. Okay, yes. but didn't you mention something about a north other storm system coming next week or smaller, something different? Okay. Smaller, but yeah, everybody's going to be sick and tired of this cold like I don't think we're hitting 60 till like next <laughs> Thursday which for us is very hard to do like a week and a half of 50s or colder okay well I'm ready for summer already but yes. I do want to see what yeah. you have right. to do behind the scenes let's go see the okay. ingredients so the let's next thing is we it. have a great that's Fernando behind the camera there Hi, he's, a, he's a good guy don't run into the little does what's called the steady cam things everywhere now this may say something about where, where they want to put us in the hierarchy but traffic gets to be out here and all the <laughs> with all the people talking and they put weather back here come back here so so, it's only because he needs a lot of space around the to corner, do what he's third doing. Left, you this come is, back to the weather you know, Hold on, hold on. I don't want you to you, to get our viewers confused. We did this for him for a reason because he has this big, beautiful setup. He has obviously this big TV, and yep. then the green screen where green Fernando screen. physically is. You have to have. This is where he does a lot of his presentations. And where you so, do traffic. Yes, where I you do, do traffic. But we're so, talking about and, weather today. And I love the kids love this when. And I'm trying to see. Okay, I'm looking at me, looking at me over here. Okay. You see there's a monitor over there and there's a monitor over there so we can see what we're pointing at. You're like, oh, how do you know where to point? We're looking at ourselves. Like, I'm looking, but I'm looking at myself. Oh. So it's kind, of, it's kind of interesting. So, Look at you. So here we go. Oh, whoa. Hey, hello. <laughs> so, okay, you see all this mess behind me, but uh -huh. let's do this. Three, two, one. Let's switch it back. It's actually not there. So ironically, the only place where we can't see the maps <laughs> is where you at home see the maps. So if I turn around, I'm like, oh, it's a really nice green wall. But you're like, oh, he's looking right at the storm. No, I'm not. So, OK, so that's the green screen part of it. Kids always love that whenever we do okay. a tour. Um, now, Oops. here we go. And Kalina's sorry, doing some rearranging. Yeah, yeah, sorry. We have our rundown. That shows us where we are in the newscast. Uh, this is our weather computer. Uh, almost every TV station in the country uses the same software, but we all use it differently. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of, we, we kind of put our spin on it. So it's the same ingredients, if you will, but how do you make the cake? So each one of these little boxes, and I'm not sure if you can highlight down here, Fernando, each one of these little boxes is a graphic that we have made at some point in time in the past. That's all the stuff that we could use. Over here, this big part right here, are all the graphics that we're choosing to use today. And Where is the information being pulled from? Pulled from, okay, we go over here, we just look at the internet, and I've got, okay, this is rainfall totals that have come in from the Weather Service. Uh, Beverly Hills has already had an inch and a half of rain. Downtown, uh, two thirds of an inch of rain. Woodland Hills, two and a half inches of rainfall. Get that? Here are updated every minute rainfall totals for the entire Los Angeles basin, actually the whole country. So if you wanted to zoom into, let's say, Upland or Claremont, you have all of these locations where I can see totals. This is a forecast model called the HRRR High, High Resolution Rapid Refresh. There's your storm right there. There's the center of the storm moving closer to us. This is updated every hour. That's why I like it when we get close to the event. See that little thin strip of yellow right there? That's going to be some pouring rainfall, 11Z. We're eight hours behind that. That's Zulu time. That's, uh, that's Greenwich, England. Mm -hmm. So that's 3 o'clock in the morning. for us. So it's going to pour overnight. It may even be so loud it might wake people up. It's going to rain so Hi. intensely. And then we go here. I'm looking to see when our next 60 yep. degree day is. This is a different mm -hmm. computer model showing yep. all the different computer forecasts out there. When are we going to get back live to the 60s? A, live ATC. No, 40s, uh, 50s, oh, well, boom. It yeah, is audio, about yeah, next know, Friday. Right, it. uh -huh. The uh, average of all of those. Uh, next uh, Friday will be the next time we make audio, it to the 60s. So we only have a minute left, but how long does it take you to prep for one show? Because I, I, you do hours um, mm -hmm. of 
television for us. So how yes. long does it take you to, to put all this stuff together? Because that is a lot of information. I'd say two hours to get okay. the graphics ready, but we're also doing it during the show. I can get mm -hmm. graphics ready for here and then also be making graphics for the next one. And it's kind of like you keep making different cakes along the way. Mm -hmm. Now, this is kind of cool. This is our radar. Go in, zoom in. Where do you want to go? Pick a town. Uh, Hacienda Heights. Okay, Hacienda Heights. We can go all the way down. Here's the rain. Zoom in. Okay, we're picking a road, uh, Turnbull Canyon Road, right there. See the sweep? Mm -hmm. Latest, we get a new bit of information every minute. It's raining heavily there, but if you go down toward Halliburton Road, it's not raining as intensely because the yellow is heavier precipitation. Mm -hmm. You go along the 60, up toward Hillgrove, it's heavier rain. Right along the 60, Roland, all the way out here, and you can zoom out. This is how we build our maps. Okay, why do you choose to zoom into a certain spot? I'll start wide and say, okay, well, that's a ton of snow up in the San Gabriels. That's a lot. <laughs> I'll zoom into there along Highway 2. I do this. I've now saved that view. Oh. So now when you go to the show and I press play, this is actually what you would see on television. Now this is a different map. Watch. I'll do this. The space bar. That's the map we just built. So we just basically move around to show you the different, I call them hot spots of where the rain and snow are. I love it. So we only have 30 seconds left. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your favorite thing about your job is. Favorite thing about my job is, is the fact that every single day is different. There's no, there's no day that I can walk in and know exactly what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. Some jobs, it's like, I know exactly what I want to do and I'm not very jazzed about it. Mm -hmm. Weather changes every, even if it's sunny and 75 for a week, there's a different way to tell the story. And I love it. It's, yeah. I haven't worked a day in my life, and it's been 26 years. Look at you, and we love having so, you here, thank too. You. It's fun thank working you, with you, too. Paul, it's fun Paul working Diano, with you, too. everybody. Um, okay, so he's going to join us for What's the Buzz in just a little bit, but we will be right back. <laughs>